and welcome to part 20 of Fallout New Vegas. And like I said, we're getting on the strip this episode, so that's going to be very interesting. And what went down last episode, we freaking got Garrett all of his things. I'm tired of this freaking... This glove. I'm tired of this glove in my hand. Give me this, yeah. Uh, we helped the Garrett finish their quest, and then on top of that, we finished freaking the Joshua Graham one. We took out the boss of the White Lakes. We killed Cassidy, the only other companion that we are able to have right now. And then on top of that, we freaking ganked a group of legionaries in a warehouse. So last episode was freaking crazy. And it's only going to get better from here. So we're going to go to Deck Collector. And it's time to enter New Vegas, boys. We're just going to go right on in. I bought a fake ID for 500 caps. So hopefully this fake ID works. <clears throat> It's probably somewhat based off speech as well. But we'll see. We're hoping Ralph Ralph comes in clutch right here. He's done as good so far. Okay. We're getting close. Here's this man. I'm gonna speak to the security guard and then we may be able to enter the strip, boys. Welcome to the strip. Submit to a credit check. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, passport. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Oh my God! Wow, that worked. We got in. We're entering New Vegas, boys. We're entering freaking New Vegas. Woo! Vegas. Yeah. I was about to say Las Vegas, but then I realized no. We're playing Fall. This is New Vegas. Ooh, baby. Get that music going. Everyone do a little dance. Now we're at it. You are peace, have you? What are you doing? You sent me your personal welcome. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas is in your acquaintance. Just like 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette. Right, I'll go there straight. From Mr. House, I might stop by. We'll see. Don't you dawdle, little doggy. Mr. House isn't someone you want to go about snubbing. He'll be waiting. Alrighty, interesting. So we can meet Mr. House, the man that runs it. After this. Why do they call it a Who are you? You're just normal? What are you up to, lady? Who are you? Mr. Holdout. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't last. Easy to hide weapons? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Hmm. What would I need? to hide a weapon on Simple. Me. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fit. They you get it all back when you leave. I without a little difference. When it's my caps on the All right. My bad, my dog was digging around in the coy. Suit yourself. The Xbox it's off. not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. Alrighty, so he told us he sells us weapons Don't that we can away. use. Who are you? You say so you're not even gonna talk to me. So this is the Gamora. Let's enter. And see what's going on. We're finally on the strip, boys. Good, always stay hydrated. <clears throat> hey, no one but Hello. Emeritus are allowed to carry guns. Here you go. You'll get these back on your way out. Good day to you, sir. So these is who the Emeritus...
So I heard stories about the Emeritos from a few people, but I haven't ran into any of Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? What is there to do around Feel here? Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes around I here. I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Don't worry about me, I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. What can you tell me about what's going on around the street? Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. What can you tell me about what's going on around the... No, we already asked that. What can you tell me about what's going on in Gamora? Gossip is one thing. Dirt on the family is something else totally. Uh. Alright, good day to you. Later. Alrighty, so we cannot speak to her much, so let's see what's going on in here. Oh, this is a casino, boys. Yep, this is Vegas, baby. So here is the brimstone area. Hello? Is this the brimstone? Yes, it is. So who can I speak to that is in here? Let me look. Gambler. Gambler. Who are you? Hey there. Can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Looking for information. Sorry, it's not my business to get involved. Nothing right now. All right. At Gamora, the bar is always open. That's lame. You're not going to tell me anything? Hello? Not that cool, buddy. Where does this lead? Door to the courtyard. The courtyard sounds like a good place to go. Don't know what's gonna be out here, but whoa! Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires all the way to the arms of Joanna, moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? I always have what it takes. Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? Better question is, what are you going to do with it? Oh my, aren't you something else? We I flirt, guess you have boys. to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house, honey. Lead the way. Follow me, hun. Ah uh, snap, we smashing a chick, we smashing a chick. Ah uh, snap. Ooh, we getting frisky with this girl. Look, those, those look like sad gamblers. Like that guy sitting there, he's thinking about life. He's like, fuck, I spent all my money this week. Shit, my wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> Alright, you ready, lady? We're moving on up. We're moving on up in life. She has got white legs. Definitely. Whitest legs I've seen. Are we going in the room or the tent? Here we go. Alright, can we talk now? Hey there, gorgeous. I knew you'd be back soon enough. Okay. Are we going onto the bed? Hello? Hey there, gorgeous. Okay. You're going down. Come here, baby. I'm all yours. Guess I have questions. Oh, I know. I'm ready. Okay. Lay down, and I'll take care of you. Oh shit, boys! We smashing! We smashing! Get out of here. Get here. Oh, shit. That was it. It keeps going. There it was, lady. Good day to you. Whoa, what are you wearing? Come here, baby. I'm... 
I'd like to talk All first. right, honey. What do you want to know? I'd like to know more yes. about you. Contracted pupils, involuntary spasms, medics, kills quickly, Joanna. I can help. I... I didn't think it showed. <laughs> I guess that it's worse than I thought. What happened I'm, to you? I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <sighs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Tell me about Kachino. He's a filthy monster. I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that... Even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he still breeds. What's the Omerta's role in the uh, Gamora? They run the place as a center for all their dirty scams and extortions. Gambling, sex, drugs. They'll use whatever works to exploit your weakness. Hooker, customer, it doesn't matter. Everyone here is a pawn to the Omertas. Playing and dying by their rules. Tell me about their leaders. Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants, Big Saul does. Then there's... Kachino. What's Carlito's story? He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Interesting. Kachino talked because Carlitos broke Omerto rules? Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules. Only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. What if Carlitos lives? If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. He's alive, I'll find him for you. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? Uh... Nothing, I'll find what? him for you. Are you serious? Well, I'm not complaining, hun. Thanks so much for your help. You gave me a free one on the house. I'm giving you a free one, baby. Boom, boom, that's a new what the fuck quest. Are you looking at? What the hell, bitch? Why you gotta be so mean to me? Like, I didn't even do anything. Are you the depressed gambler? Dude, you got chops, bro. Look at that, man. He's got freaking chops. This is a beautiful casino. Let's see who else there is I can talk to out here, maybe? Anyone? Who are you? Dazzle. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. Who, where, or where are you from? Well now, that's unusual. Normally no one cares enough to ask. To be honest, I don't rightly know. My mama was from around these parts. I can remember her face, but not her name. More than I can remember of my daddy, I guess. We lived in Westside before the Omertas bought me. As bad as it can be some days in here, it's better than living in that dump. Alright, goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Alright, I was just curious if we could talk to anyone else. She looked like an important character. You are definitely a gambler. They make the lady gamblers always wear shades for some reason. Apparently that makes you a gambler. You wear shades. And the dudes wear business suits, so it's a bit weird. 
But I guess if you're coming to Vegas, it's hard to get clothes these days. So I understand, kinda. Alrighty, so... Where is this? Can't go back the there. Fuck are you looking at? Dude, why is everyone a dick here, dog? I'm just trying to explore the area. Get to know people, man. Elevators. What's over here? Nothing of importance. A bathroom. Bathroom. Downstairs. Whoa, there's a lower lobby? I did not know this. This is interesting. I've discovered something new. Who's down here? Hello, anyone? You want at all? Who are you? Mora is always open for business. Alrighty, this is interesting. Uh, he's open. Wait a minute. Where am I, dude? Oh! Enjoying the show. Yes, but why are you in there all alone? There's no one in here. I guess you're you're going to see some titties, lady. <laughs> so funny. Alrighty, let's go down here. This is where she came from, so I don't know what this is. Why is the audio like that? Gamora has the loosest. That audio is awful. I think this game's glitching out, guys. Is there anyone we can talk to down here? The NCR is fortunate to have you. Oh my god. Why are you doing that? Maybe if we leave, it will stop. I think I got it. Was that the issue? Wow, alright. Well, that was some time wasted. My bad, everybody. That was dude. Everyone was going... Maybe I'm tripping, but that's how it was in my ear. So, where is there to go in here except for the elevators, which go... The lower brimstone, the sweets levels. I'm gonna stay here. So there's not really much else we can do in this building. What the fuck are you looking at? Dude, why does everyone say that to me? Have I been a dick to anyone here? God, dude, it started doing that freaking noise thing again. I started worrying. I was like, oh no. Here comes phase two, boys. Phase two. Alrighty, so we got a new quest out of that casino. And we're just going to continue on forwards to the next side of the strip. This is the more packed side. So this is an NCR station, I believe, right here. Yes. NCR is what it is. Let me enter the door to Las Vegas Boulevard Station. Whatever you are. Alrighty. Yes, it is an NCR station. So here are you, you're just a trooper. 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 I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. Is this your first time on the strip? Yes, it is. Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Uh, I think we're good. Sir. 
You have nothing interesting to say to us. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll just say it. Okay, so where where are the other people in here? Where's Captain Poppet? Oh, it goes upstairs. Hello, Securitron. Hey, who are you, Trooper? Go on through, soldier. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Goes to Camp McCarran? You're kidding me, dude. A train? That's insane. Crazy tricks, dog. What are these? These are bathrooms. See, that's why I don't expect anything to be in there. So there's no one we can speak with here? Is that not the right area I'm looking to go to? Oh my god! Dun, 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 dun. They are something. Hello, who are you? Ethel Phoebus. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. What are you and he up to out here on the strip? He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. What's so important about Heck Gunderson? If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. Is there some way I could help you out? I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, we're the only ones in pain. Interesting. I'll see what I can do. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Alrighty, so this is obviously her husband. Howdy, yeah. son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap yes. about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. You a bighorn rancher? Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. Alrighty, I'd like to ask you more about the wasteland. Of course it. What about it, kid? How do wastelanders cope with current times? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands, and I'll be damned if the NCR, those legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. What are the most dangerous places in the wasteland? Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there, for good reasons, kid. How do Wastelanders cope with current times? Listen, we own these lands. And I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. What are the most... Goodbye. All right, kid. Be good. That not... That is his, her husband. I hear right. a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. So this is the Ultralux. Where is... Oh, hey, there's another part of the strip. Wow, boys, it just freaking keeps going, huh? Alright, but what quest do I have activated right now? The Debt Collector. So we obviously need to go straight. Alright. So we're crossing through here. And we're speaking with... Why? Why? What did I do? Did I do something? Why did they just attack me, man? Oh, I know why. It's 
because of the Van Graaff combat armor, huh? Why are you all attacking me? What did I do? What did I do? Why are you all mad at me? Why is everyone freaking mad at me, dude? Can I go back in? Did I do something, man? Like, I really don't know. Let me wait a bit. Because I don't know what I was doing wrong here. I was just being attacked for no reason. I think it was because of the Van Graaff armor. Because I don't think Mr. House likes the Van Graaff people. But are you guys going to attack me anymore? No, thank God. Thank you for being smart. All right, here's the guy we're looking for. Huh, so the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Give me a share of the caps in your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. All I need is your hat and you're a free man. I tell Francis you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Alrighty, so now we don't have to kill him, and that will take care of that quest. We just need to return to Francine. But first, we are going to go and see what we can do in here. There's got to be another level of this that we can enter. Or maybe not, who knows. Oh, we're not going to go into either of these casinos yet either. What is this? Is this the tops? Yes, we do not want to go into the top yet. And then there's another one. Oh, we got three things here. This is the NCR outpost. And first off, we have... Oh, this is the Vault Motel right here. First off, we got Vault 21 Motel. Let me enter. Demand access into the Vault 21 Hotel. All right, hello, lady. Who are you? Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest Vault Hotel in the whole world. I'm looking for Carlitos. Do you know Carlitos, him? huh? Yeah, I do. Try the diner. Don't start to trouble you here. Good to All see right, you I'm again. I'm not done yet. What kind of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Vault gear? Swell. Can you show me what you got? No. Actually, let me ask you about something else. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? A vault hotel. What was it like before the war? No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. Why is it so special? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. It was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Sure, Radio, like Daddy-o. Let's do it. All yeah, right, please give follow us a me. Tour. We'll head into the vault right away. Thank you, lady. I'd glad to tour the Vault 21. God, dude. I can't this seem to get out of this crowd. The to the vault. No, I'm Solid just kidding. Solid stone outside and thick steel on the inside. Hey. That's nice. Keep going. 
Keep going. There you go. She was like, I knew you were looking at my ass. She was like, walk past me, but then I didn't. She was like, oh, he knows. He knows I'm gonna have to walk past him. Take too long, lady. Oh, now, now we're in Vault 21. So this is like a vault that was like on the strip and it got turned into a hotel Even. after the war, I guess. Giving me this tour, lady, because I'm going on a walk, because like, taking a long. What's up here? Interesting. Are you coming? Above right, us, there's a control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. Cool. My vault cool has beans. many uh corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Keep walking, lady. Keep it moving. Go. Forwards. There you go. We got her going. Vegas at night is like nothing else. Here we are. This is like a gambling room, I guess. Well, let's see. She's going to explain it probably. Hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the collective. Ooh, this is a classic diner. We used to have diner. such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. All right, that's all you're showing me. Hey. Okay, we can keep going, keep walking. Maybe I need to keep distance. Maybe to keep distance, she'll move. Alrighty, that, that seemed to work out well. This hall leads to our guest rooms. You can use the first room on our left, but no snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. Alright, interesting. Do I have to finish this tour? Good to see you again. Uh... Are you the owner? Well, it is my vault, alright. I mean, yeah. That is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. What does Mr. House have to do with Vault 21? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. What did you fill the vault with concrete? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. Alrighty, I'd like to know... No, goodbye. Okay, see you soon. I really don't care much about this. I'm gonna be honest here, like I really got the urge to get a fucking cheese danish and fries closes at 11 and it's 12, 8, 18, so we're gonna finish this episode up pretty soon, but not yet. First we're gonna talk to whoever this man is we're looking for. Let me activate the quest. We are looking for... Not Ethel Phoebus wants her husband Walter to forget about Huck Game. Find Carlitos. Here we are. Where are you, Carlitos? Oh, there hey, you are. Do you mind? I'm trying to drink myself to the ground right here. Scram. I'm here on jo Joanna's behalf. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. Please tell me. Is she all right? When did you see her? What does she have to say? She didn't know if you were still alive. she has alive. to know. I'm ready to help her escape once and for all. Am I even scared of Kachino and all those fuckers? Joanna and I are dead anyway if we don't get the hell out of here. Why don't you get her out of Gamora? What, you think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. I'll Deal. let her know. Come back with news soon, you hear? Will you answer my questions now? Alright. About what do you want to know? 
Tell me about your past. You know, straightening up bets, Gamora, success, women, all that shiny stuff. Spend some time at Gamora, then. What was that I like? I didn't just spend time there. I lived there, okay? I was family. All I wanted, I had. Caps, booze, drugs, women, power. You name it. It was heaven. Until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. Any important wise guys I should know about? Now, if about? you have to ask, you probably don't know shit about who you're dealing with, huh? Listen up. Watch out for Kachino. That's all I'm saying. What did you say about working at Gamora? It was heaven. Until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. Let me ask you about New Vegas. All right. What do you want to know? What are the important players in town? <laughs> There's only one important player in town, and that's Mr. House. Everyone keeps clean around him. The families, the barons, fuck, even the NCR. Tell me about... If you're strip. smart, the strip's all flash and noise. If not, luck's your dame, your hot date until you find she's a cheap whore high on jet. Any recommendation on where to go for some My fun? My recommendation? Get the fuck out of town while you can. It'll leave you hanging in the wind, or worse, add your body to a concrete wall, okay? All right, Don't goodbye, sir. Round. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so that seems to be the only two people we can talk to here he in Vault 21. And I lied, guys. I decided I'm just gonna get some freaking spicy McChickens from McDonald's. We can make this a proper episode of at least 50 to an hour. That's uh, that's how I like these episodes. 50 minutes to an hour is how I like doing them. Two parts a day. Just so the series can go quick, because it's going to be a long one. That's why I'm giving you guys so much, because it is a long, long game. So I think next we're going to travel Gale's Sign Shop. I believe it is called Gale's Sign Shop. Oh, I'm here. It's Gale's Sign Shop. Alrighty, where are we? Let me look here. I hear a troublesome this looks to be a promising place in the gal sign shop this is it right here where do i enter Alrighty, this is the next best place we can go to to see what we can do so yeah obviously mr house doesn't like the van graphs because we got freaking gank for wearing the armor so i don't know i think that's why it was because they were attacking me and now they're not anymore i don't know it was weird it was very weird so who are you I'm looking to speak with people. Are you? Hey. Hi. Kate. What can I do for you? What is this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there too, sure, but he's the real artist. Who is Michelangelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Where can I find Michelangelo? Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Good to know. So, how long have you worked I've here? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Alright, goodbye. So that's interesting. She told me a bit about Michelangelo. So this is Michelangelo right oh. here, actually. Hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. No, I'm not here for anything like that. Who are mm, you? That's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although here I go by my artistic name, Michelangelo. So what brings you here? An artist. Rare right thing to see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this... place. It sounds like you don't like this place. What is wrong with I it? I feel haunted by something terrible. 
Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So this is fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. You exhibit clear symptoms of acute agrophobia. I can help. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost Double just rare baby. as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Several years of psychoanalyzing and a few thousand caps a month will fix you. I know a guy in Freeside really good at trimpination. You'd be amazed how... It escorts you into the wasteland. Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know. I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Yes. What do you mean? Yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. I'll help you. Do you have any landmarks in mind? I've always wanted to see a dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One power station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll return with the pictures. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. Alrighty, so that's a new quest. Classic Hello. inspirations. So that's an assistant. So I'm gonna check upstairs really quick to see if there's anyone else we can speak to in here. And that's gonna be taking us back to Prim and freaking other places like that. I mean, I never thought we'd be visiting Prim again, but it looks like he's sending us back to Prim, boys. That is like a long, long time since we've been to Prim. So here is the NCR outpost. Let's check what's going on over here. Is there anyone out Patrol here? In Hello? The Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. So here is the embassy. The NCR embassy. That is an interesting name. I don't know what you classify as an embassy, like what it's for. Alright, who are you? Lisa Welcome O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? What can you tell me about the embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Tell me about I yourself. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Sir? Goodbye. You're a mean lady. I know what you're not it? doing anything. I have not seen a single soul walk in here. Here seem to be the offices. Oh. No one in here. Maybe in here. Yes, who are you? Ambassador Dennis Crocker. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago back in the NCR as the local mayor and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. Interesting, go I on. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? I'd like to know more about the NCR. I can provide a quick history lesson. If that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR Army into the Mojave in force with the objective of occupying and repairing the dam. Rangers and Army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival. 
and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House's Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Oh, uh. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. All right, what's happening around the It's strip? the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. Alrighty, good day to you, sir. Goodbye. So we're gonna be leaving here and seeing if there's anyone else that we can speak to in this building. There's some barracks to the right, so maybe get lucky. No, hey. who are you? Captain Marie Papa. Good to see you around here. What can I do for you? I was honestly thinking it was going to be a dude, not a chick. I'd like to know more about you. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm going to do it well. Now, if that's all, I've got work to do. What is happening on the yeah, strip? Yeah, more the usual. We're keeping an eye on the troopers to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Yeah, the only stupid one we've had lately is Private Irwin. He's starting to cause more trouble than he's worth. What can you tell me about the ambassador? Crocker isn't too bad. He mostly stays in his office now. If you have any questions about the embassy, you should ask him. He'll talk your ear off. All right, good Bye. day to you. You really didn't tell us anything interesting. So who's this private Irwin guy? I want to look for him. We're gonna bathroom, bathroom, room. That's her room, though. Is there anyone else in here we can speak to? Maybe Private Irwin? Wow, yes. Look who it is. What can I help you with? What's happening on the Us strip? Us troopers mostly come to the strip for our R&R. &R. We blow off some steam by gambling, drinking, partying, or fighting. If you're looking for a good time, I'd suggest hitting up Gamora. The girls there are pretty nice, if you know what I mean. Tell me about you. What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. What do you know about the ambassador? He's a little stiff and stuffy. Doesn't leave the office that much. Always surrounds himself with papers and reports. I've always wanted to play a prank on him, but there's no way I could ever pull that off without getting in trouble from Captain Pappas. Prank, you said. <laughs> yeah, I got a few ideas that I'm working on. Maybe I'll let you in on it once I have something. And interesting. What can you tell me about Captain Pappas? Well, she may be a bit of a hard ass, but she's the best damn captain we've had here. I'd be careful around her. You don't want to get on our bad side. Alright, good day to you, Erwin. Sir. Nelson's Alrighty, so I think this is the only person we can talk to in Hello. here. Yes. So that's everyone we can speak to in this building. No new quest, sadly. I was hoping maybe there'd be a new quest from here, but guess not. So now the next step I think I want to do... Well, before I finish this episode, I really want to go right here 
and I want to deliver this quest to the Garrets. I want to finish Debt Collector because we've been doing Debt Collector. And, you know, we still have to go to a few casinos on the Strip, but we're going to do that next episode. First, we're going to finish Debt Collector because I've been waiting to finish it. And we can finish everything at the Atomic Wrangler. And then no longer will we have to deal with the fools at the Atomic Wrangler. Got their sex bots. They got their debt collected. And now they got their guy. But we took the easy way out. We split the caps with him and we took his hat. Because then we didn't have to fight him on the strip. Because I don't want to have a bad reputation on the strip. Especially because we haven't even spoken to Mr. House. Like, why would I do that before I even speak to the man that owns the strip? Can't be causing mayhem. Unacceptable. Garrett, I need to speak to you, Garrett. I need to speak to you. Hello, sir. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Uh, no, not you. I actually need to speak to her. You've done a lot for Freeside, and it is much appreciated. Here's one on the house. Thank ya. Uh, I took care of McCaffrey. Yes! Where's his hat? Here it is. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Yeah, free rooms, boy. Till next time. Goodbye. Yeah, we got a freaking free room. That's what I'm talking about. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to end it for part 20. We visited the strip, and somehow we're ending in the same spot. We're back at the Garrett's place. Uh, we got a few new quests, and... Other than that, we just have to explore the strip more, but we completed our deck collector one, so we finally got that done. And I hope you, everyone enjoyed the episode. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube and if you're on Twitch, follow me. But other than that, that's going to be it, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.